Hello there, I'm Aldra Hill, and I'm going to take a look at the humanoid species pack for Stellaris. Everyone likes playing humans. They're squishy and adorable, and just make you feel safe. No one wants to be... this guy. However, if you want to play something familiar, you basically have to pick the monkeys. There are no other options. Until, that is, the humanoid species pack, which is coming out on the 7th of December. As per previous species packs, you get access to new portraits for the relevant theme, as well as new ship modes and new voice packs. Not to mention some in-game music that's playing right now. For starters, let's look at the portraits. You've got your sadder dude, who looks like he's about to take you downtown, if you know what I'm saying. He knows what's up. Then we've got the ugly half-halfling. Quarterling? Half-orc. That just wants to sell you some great Persian music CDs. Then what can only be described as the thing you see when you wake up from sleep paralysis. Dude looks mechanical as well, with that weird wiring coming from his head. Then we have time for the Mr. Blind Lizard. Purple's a nice color, but with no eyes, you have to wonder why and how he evolved like that. Now we have the Triceratops that grew opposable thumbs. Trikey here looks like the kind of guy that accidentally strangles rabbits and gets shot at the end of classic literature. We have Fishy Spadeface, followed up by a guy clearly suffering from a tragic factory accident. There's no way that headpiece is natural. Right, there we go. That's the weird alien ones done. Now for the fantasy tropes. Here, we clearly have an actual dwarf, complete with beard and tribal tattoos. You can practically see the gold and foul smell. After that is his sworn enemy, 4th edition D&D orc. Not to be confused with the Lord of the Rings orcs, of course, because they're way, way uglier. Not this guy, though. You know he does well on Grinder. And then finally, you have a bemused-looking cyclops. I was going to do something about him being kind of looking like a bald Leela from Futurama, but then the eye just kind of started looking and following me, and looking kind of just sad, so I felt bad for him. As mentioned, alongside the portraits, you get some lovely new voice backs, the soldier, the diplomat, and the technocrat. It's pretty clear who these guys are meant to be. Soldier is Femshep from Mass Effect. Attention on deck! Diplomat is every elf ever. Nothing is impossible to those who would try. And Technocrat is the generic evil guy. No great advance is made without great sacrifice. When did Paradox get so anti-science? Finally, you get new ship designs for your humanoids that I suppose are meant to be specific to humans. My big problem with the ships is they look like different sci-fi genres smashed together. Some look clearly Star Wars inspired, but then still others look like they just got back from battling the Klingons. They feel kind of muddled, plus sometimes just a little bit special. That's basically it. This is a species pack, so it's always going to contain a lot less than any normal expansion. Just something to beef out the role-playing capability for those who want it. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below and tell me what you think of the newest species pack, whether you'd buy it or not, and why. As always, leave a like as well if you enjoyed the video, or hell dislike if you didn't. And subscribe to my channel for lots of Paradox and Strategy Let's Plays, and general stuff like this. I was Aldrin and I'll continue to be. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.